Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome back to the board meeting. Today, I'm just going to be doing a how to play, but a playthrough of this small solitaire game, Orchard. Nine card solitaire game. And all that comes in the box is these assortment of dice, a couple of rotten fruit tokens, and 18 cards. The setup is very simple. You shuffle these cards and deal yourself nine cards. Take these cards, put the rest to the side. You could play back-to-back -back games and use that pile of cards if you'd like. Now, just flip over your top card, and that is our starting tree fruit card, I suppose. And now you can deal yourself two cards that we have to choose from to lay on here. And our goal in this game is to lay these cards overlapping some way on other cards. You want to match the fruit of the right type on top of each other. So red on red, yellow on yellow, and you can rotate this card any way you want. But when you lay it, it has to go on at least one other fruit token. So it's a very fast game. Let's just go right through it quick. So I'd want to put, maybe you want to use this card. I could overlap these two red with these red, put it on there like so. And whenever you overlap trees of the same color like that, you get to put dice on them. And dice is how we are scoring and keeping track of our score. So they start out as ones. If we would overlap these again, they turn to threes, overlap again. They turn to sixes, overlap them again. They would turn to tens. Tens very good. I don't get to tens very often because I'm not very good at this game. As soon as you play a card, you draw a card. So we're going to kind of go the no-brain game. I'm just going to go through this fast, but I'm going to put this red and yellow over top of each other. Just take the dice off. This turns to a three now, and the yellow gets a one. Let's draw another card. Do these to the side. All right. Let's just keep going quickly. Purple on purple, yellow on yellow. Draw a new card. Let's put this one on top of here. The two reds, the yellow, and the purple match. So we'll just take these off for a second. Switch this to a three. Switch this to a six. Purple gets a one, and the yellow gets a one. It's always good when you match like three or four on the same card. Here, just to show the, the rotten fruit token thing, I'll do this. I'll put this one overlapping here, so the two purples would match. The yellow would match, but this red would not match. So, let's put this here. This one would turn to a three. This one would turn to a three. We would get a one purple. And we would get a rotten fruit token, which we can do that twice in a game. You don't want to do it. It is negative three points at the end of the game. How we're going to score is all of our dice value minus any rotten fruit tokens. All right, there we go. Here's one that will match four of them. We'll put the purples on top, the yellows on top. So this one becomes a three. This three becomes a six. We get a red one and a yellow one. And draw. And now we're down to our last two cards. It's a very, very fast game. All right, let's put this over here. Oh, that won't match. Again, let's just go quickly. I'm not seeing too good of matches, but I'm probably missing one or a couple, like I usually do. Let's just overlap these. So purple and a yellow. And we are out of yellow uh, dice. So if we would have to take another yellow dice, we just don't get to. And let's see if we can place our last card somewhere. Well, let's just do this. Overlap all of these. Turn that to a three. The red gets a one. And we don't have a yellow. So we just don't get to place a dice for that. And now we count up all of our scores minus the 
Rotten Fruit token. Looks like we have 31 dice, but minus 3 is 28 points. So now we go into this rule book, and we look on the one of the back pages, and it's got these uh, how you did on the score with some bad tree puns. What did I say we got? 28 or something? 28 is very bad. So we're forget Apple. But I am I usually score around 30, somewhere around there, so it's not much different than usual. Uh, but it's very fast, very, very simple game. I have enjoyed it a lot lately. But that is a How to Play Orchard. Thanks for watching, everyone, and take care. Yeah.